sensation of unbearable sudden heat seems to come out of nowhere. This wave, a strong electromagnetic beam, is the latest non-lethal weapon unveiled by the U.S. military this week. You're not going to see it. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to smell it. You're going to feel it, explained U.S. Marine Colonel Tracy Tafola, director of the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate, Marine Corps Base Quantico, at a demonstration for members of the media. The effect is so repellent, the immediate instinct is to flee, and quickly, as experienced by AFP at the presentation. Tafola is quick also to point out the active denial system beam while powerful and long range, some 1,000 meters or 0.6 miles, is the military's safest non-lethal capability that has been developed over 15 years but never used in the field. It was deployed briefly in Afghanistan in 2010 but never employed in an operation. The technology has attracted safety concerns possibly because the beam is often confused with the microwaves commonly used by consumers to rapidly heat food. There are a lot of misperceptions out there, lamented Tafola, saying the Pentagon was keen to make clear what the weapon is and what it is not. The frequency of the blast makes all the difference for actual injury as opposed to extreme discomfort. Stress Stephanie Miller, who measured the system's radio frequency bio effect at the Air Force Research Laboratory. The system raised 95 gigahertz, a frequency absorbed very superficially, said Miller. The beam only goes 1 64th of an inch, which gives a lot more safety. We have done over 11,000 exposures on people. At that time, we've only had two injuries that required medical attention, and in both cases, injuries were fully recovered without complications, she said. In contrast, microwave frequency is around 1 gigahertz, which moves faster and penetrates deeper, which is how it can cook meat in an oven, said top researcher Diana Laurie, with the transmitter a wave 100 times the power of a regular microwave oven cannot pop a bag of popcorn because the radio frequency is not penetrating enough to heat enough to internally heat the material, she stressed. To be used in mob dispersal, checkpoint security, perimeter security, aerial denial, infrastructure protection, the U.S. military envisions a wide array of uses, and in a bid to avert accidents, Tafola said the operator's trigger in a truck far from the action has an automatic shutoff after three seconds for safety. This provides the safest means and also provides the greatest range, he said. The Pentagon has not yet decided to order any of the ADS system, but Tafola said they would be ready if axed.